aka what's up backpack here and today I will be showing you guys how to make um, a weapon called the DAO 12 uh, this gun is featured in Battlefield uh, 3 that's what inspired me to make this so we'll get started um, you want to download the link in the description which will have these three images uh, reference images so you just want to download those and uh, you want to open up to these max. Alright, I'm just setting it up. So what you want to do is go to uh, the front view and hold Alt and B. And then select File. And uh, browse to wherever you saved that folder that you downloaded. And open up this image right here. And select Match Bitmap. And lock, pan, zoom. And hit G to get rid of the grids on each viewport. This is just preference, so it doesn't really matter. So, so mainly for this uh, project, we're going to be using uh, splines. So, if you know how to use splines, you're basically set. But if you don't, you're going to learn um, in this tutorial. So, I'm just opening up the reference images so I know how the gun looks like. <coughs> <coughs> All right, so let's get started with making the butt part of the gun. Uh, what we'll do is go to shapes, line, and select uh, line. And what we we're gonna do is make make uh, the base of the body all the way up to here. So let's start from here and uh, hold down shift to go down. Let's make a point here a point there, hold shift to go down and keep on going down a bit more just, just basically trace out the shape I can't really tell you what to do and how to do it because it's basically tracing um, a fairly easy shape and for this part here, the curve uh, just place rough edges, so we're going to refine those later on Hold shift to go across. And make sure you don't get the handle in there because that's a different section. Uh, just saying. And for these round points, just make rough rough edges. We'll refine those later with the fillet modifier in the splines, like I said before. And yes, you want to close the spline to ask. So we got the tracing done. Now what we're gonna do is go to uh, the modifier tab, go to vertex, vertex mode, and scroll all the way down in the tab. Uh, select fillet. All right, now we can uh, start making our corner edges uh, nice and round. So what you wanna do is zoom into a vertex, vertex C, and you just wanna play around with it and get a get a nice edge basically <coughs> all right so you just want to go around and <coughs> we want to do it over here on this point and at this point this point that point that point and mostly around here now what we can do for this part is select this vertice and that vertice by holding down control and then just flaying them at the same time just to save some time and we want to do the same thing now I'm just actually going to move this vertice in and then fix this one up and just fillet that and just do a little bit here too, just to get you a nice little edge. Not too much, just a little. All right, so there we go. Now what you want to do is uh, go to the modify list, and you want to find something called shell, or actually extrude. Uh, extrude. Let's see which one works out better. All right, so what you want to do is uh, set a mount. Yeah, this will be better. So now we're gonna look at the reference image. Let's gonna see how much time. Let's only look for this. Okay, I'm just gonna look at the image, images, the two images, 
and uh, the gun's fairly thick. It's not too thick from uh, this part. Let's see. This is basically just my uh, perspective on what it should be, or what I think. Okay, I'm just gonna set this to something like 18, and just add in two segments, just for fun. Hmm. Yeah, that's good. And uh, also, what we're gonna do is go to the modify list and select smooth, and smooth, and just convert, uh, right-click, convert edible poly to collapse all the layers. And you can change the color if you want. All right, so there we got the stock part. And now what I'm going to do is add this cool little design, I guess you can call it. You want to go to line and basically trace it out. But not the whole thing, you just want to trace out a bit. Uh, just watch what I'm doing. It's kind of simple. There we go. That's all we want to do. Zoom out and go to the perspective and add a shell to this modifier or extrude. drag it out. Oh yeah, my bad. Yeah, we could have, we should have done this, oops, we should have done this before. Actually, we'll just add that in later. Let's make the handle and then I'll end the tutorial and show you guys in the next video how to do what I was just going to show you guys. So, you want to trace out the handle, uh, pretty simple, straightforward. Once again, we're going to fillet it, so don't worry. Alright, close up the spline, yes. And we want to trace out this too. Camera to you. Cool. Because I uh, touch you